Now, Scripture tells us that humankind came into being when God blew into us the breath of life. How fortunate we are if we are able to take long, deep breaths of what is essentially then the essence of God, the life of God. Sports people breathe deeply. Musicians breathe deeply. All we who are who breathe are taking in the very spirit, the crux, the kernel of the one who called us into creation. Seventy-five years ago, there were four vacant lots on the corner of Jeffries and Avon. But industrious, deep breathing people who believe that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, their God, our God, was their refuge, took heart and combined their life and took their breaths together and following the example of God, breathed life into what was to become the little white chapel. Amen? Amen. This church was brought to life at a time when this community looked a lot different. Nevertheless, permissions had to be given Money had to be raised, deeds and grants had to be researched and pulled and paid for and signed. What welcome looked like 75 years ago may be a lot different than it looks like today. Women in leadership, people wearing casual clothes to worship, red t-shirts with wings on the back. <laughs> People of different races sitting together in either of these two sanctuaries. People of different orientations welcomed in these doors to be open and to be themselves. <clears throat> Differently able people serving alongside of fully able-bodied people in these hallowed halls that got linked together. The founders of Little White Chapel may have had vastly different answers to what welcome looked like than Little White Chapel has today. We might say that they moved forward with questions that we would have had wanted answered, assurances that we would have needed to be in order to become church. But undeterred with unanswered questions, those saints of 75 years ago continued to breathe the breath of God into Little White Chapel. <clears throat> now, many of the neighbors of Little White Chapel love this church. Many of the neighbors of Little White Chapel attended this church. But think back, even at its beginning, many may have had differences with the message and the mission and the permission of this church. <clears throat> Building a chapel that was so quickly outgrown that people had to sit outside the windows on the lawn to hear the message, some of the neighbors may have wondered, what was going on at the Little White Chapel? You see these beautiful brown beams in this place? These very beams that hold up the sanctuary and define the darkness and separate it from the light, they arrive at 2 a.m. one workday morning. How well do you think that sat with people who had to be at Lockheed at 6 a.m. in the morning? Oh, and can you imagine the first time the streets of Little of Avon and Jeffries were shut off and closed down to film a movie here? Even if John Wayne was the star of it, that probably didn't sit well with the neighbors who lived close to Little White Chapel. Oh, you think there was some little uproar a few years ago about a cell tower? <laughs> Deep. Breathing, which leads to deep courage and deep decision making, will never set well with all people. Let me say that again. Deep breathing, which leads to deep courage and deep decision making, will never set well with all people. But is that a reason not to take a deep breath and do your best? Absolutely not. On this weekend before Thanksgiving, 
We give thanks for those who came before us. We give thanks for those who broke ground on this corner, who broke barriers on this corner, and who now rest from their mighty labors. And as we stand on their shoulders, we look down and hear them saying to us, as you redefine and clarify what we began, what we did, don't you dare take anything for granted. We put up these 75-year-old walls, but you've got to keep hanging out the ever-welcome signs. We hung these church chandeliers in this place, but you must cause the light of God's, welcomes, uh, God's welcome love to shine brighter every single day. We may not even have had a sound system when we began, but you've got to make the message of God's love and inclusion and what that means in the 21st century through Christ reverberate and resound down these corridors, out into the narthex, spilling out into the streets until no one wonders what is going on in Little White Chapel. By our pioneering work, and by your continued work, they will know and be drawn to this place. Our ancestors are telling us, don't expect a free ride. Don't expect anything to be easy. The 46th Psalm that we read at the beginning of the service said, and was very clear, that God is not a very present help from trouble. The 46th Psalm says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. In trouble. The Reverend Dr. Sharon Watkins said this week, the gospel of Jesus Christ is not changed by elections. It never was. The Little White Chapel Saints started trouble 75 years ago when they broke ground in this place. And then they passed it on down through the generations to us. And what they say to us now is, if you want to stay church, if you want to stay missional church, if you want to stay gospel church, Find out where there is a need in the world, where there is trouble in the world, and then go there and be Little White Chapel Christian Church. With light and sound, and especially your heavy, your heavy, courageous breathing, draw people to this place where for 75 years, this disciple of Christ Church has practiced education, inclusion, welcome, understanding, forgiveness, love, and community, faith, family, and worship. Amen? Amen. 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 Would you pray with me? And so God, we arrive at this destination. We are rejoicing. But are all of our questions answered? No. Is all of our work finished? No. Is there more to do sitting on the horizon? <coughs> yes. And what we have come together today to say is, there is no resting on our laws. There is no time for closing doors and having a party for just us. This, as never before, is a time for looking at where you would lead us and throwing our shoulders back and breathing the deepest breaths we have ever taken. And being 75 years young, prepare to move on in the direction you would have us go. We thank you for how far you brought us. We look forward to where you will take us. 
in the name of the Christ that you sent to lead us. We say to you, Amen. Amen.